Uh, okay, thank you very much uh, for coming today. Uh, today we'll be talking about the one uh, feature on Microtik that is called VRRP. Okay, my name is uh, Ahmad Mardiansha and I'm from GLC Networks. Uh, the agenda today uh, will be introductions, uh, VRRP, uh, about the VRRP itself, how it works because VRRP is open standard defined by uh, RSC made by IETF. After that, we will be discussing how to configure VRRP on Microtik, uh, several topologies, and then uh, some uh, configuration demo, and then after that, uh, question and answer. Okay, about the GLC itself, uh, we are an Indonesian company, uh, stands for Garda Lintas Chakrawala. We are located in Bandung. Our focus area are training and IT consulting. We are Microtech certified training partner, consultant and distributor, uh, Ubiquiti and Red Hat as well. Um, about the webinar itself, uh, we start the webinar since January 1st, 2010. Uh, it's a new year, yes. Uh, at that time we were discussing Solaris operating system. So we set up uh, the webinar here as a sharing event uh, for various topics like uh, Linux, networking, uh, wireless database, etc. etc. Our regular schedule is every two weeks, irregular schedule as needed. Uh, you can check our schedule on uh, our uh, website uh, www.glcnetworks.com slash main slash schedule. Uh, if you want to be a presenter, uh, that's fine. You can uh, contact us and then we'll uh, put a schedule for you. Right, and about myself, um, my name is Ahmad Mardiansha. You can just call me Ahmad. I'm based in Bandung, Indonesia. Uh, Linux user since 1999, Microtech user since 2007, started using Ubiquiti since 2011, certified trainer for Microtech, Ubiquiti and Red Hat, certified consultant, previously working as telco engineer, sysadmin, programmer. Uh, my personal website is ahmadjournal.com, uh, mostly written in Indonesian, uh, and then that's my LinkedIn account. Uh, if you have and then we can connect on LinkedIn uh, about the um, participant I think uh, we can skip this uh, and yes uh, start about the VRRP itself so um, the VRRP stands for filter router redundancy protocol so it is a protocol uh, protocol means a set of rules for communications and in this case uh, VRRP uh, objective is to provide redundancy over several uh, network devices in this case the router so uh, there will be a automatic assignment of uh, IP address to participating hosts so uh, in this if you have a redundant, uh, you have a VRRP setup, and then there will be more than one router. So the idea is, if one router goes down, and then the traffic will be taken over by the healthy routers. Okay, so uh, by doing so, we increase the availability and reliability of routing part via automatic default gateway selection on an IP subnetwork. So VRRP consists of minimum of well, as as a consequence, VRRP consists of two nodes. First is the master, and then the slave. And then so it provides information about the state of the routers, not the prefix. So the even though uh, so that could be um, the 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 this uh, so uh, the VRRP propose is to provide the state of the router. So which which router is is healthy now? So if it is healthy and then if it has a higher priority, and then it will become the master router. So master router is the router that is forwarding the packets, and um, yeah, uh, and using its own routing tables for forwarding the packets. 
So uh, VRFP is not responsible for uh, checking up the or building the routing table. Okay, uh, VRFP is responsible just for okay checking the default gateway, uh, checking the, the the next router is it up or not. Okay. So uh, if you want to set up a VRRP and then it has to be on direct connection between nodes and then the IP address uh, inside the VRRP uh, should be in the same uh, subnet. Uh, VRRP support IPv4 and IPv6. The detailed uh, description about the VRRP itself is available on IETF RFC 5798. Okay. So hopefully uh, you can idea how VRP looks like, but uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, all of these are uh, text. So better if we discuss VRP with the uh, picture. Okay, so as you can see here, we have an ISP, and then from the ISP we have an IP address of the ISP. So in this case we have a slash twenty nine network. So. Uh, the IP address from ISP side is 17.4.5.1 slash 29. It's uh, got connection to a router, oh, sorry, to a switch here. And then from switch, you take a cable to the first router. And then, so on the first router, you set up 117.4.5.3 here, slash 29 over here. And then on the next router is 17.4.5.4 slash 29. And then we have a virtual IP, okay? Uh, virtual IP is 17.4.5.2, okay, slash 32. So from the ISP, if they want to connect to us, they just said, okay, if I want to go to your network, it's going to be 17.4.5.2, okay? As simple as that. So this... Uh, uh, this IP address slash 32. So remember, this is very important. So uh, virtual IP should use slash 32. Okay, never use slash 24. It's slash 22. Uh, slash 32. Sorry. Uh, so this IP address you can you can think as uh, a floating IP address. So this IP uh, can be moved from router one to router two. Okay, that's uh, VIP virtual IP. Uh, that is configuration from the one side and then from the LAN side we have like this uh, we have 192.168.1.2 for router 1 we have 192.168.1.3 that's for uh, router 2 both of them are slash 24 and then we have virtual IP the high availability IP is uh, 1.1 1 .1 slash 32 so we have two VRRP here uh, both uh, on the LAN side uh, both of the connection goes to one switch and then from this switch goes to the uh, client so uh, in this case uh, router 1 acting as uh, uh, the master master node so master node means has uh, it means that it has higher priority compared to the others, and then uh, next is the um, uh, the picture. So what happened when the uh, master node is down, for example here, and then the traffic will go to the uh, router two. So router two now uh, after uh, if if router 1 is down and router 2 uh, will be acting as the master okay so uh, we say master router means uh, the router that is for in the, the traffic okay uh, and then on master router there will be a virtual IP virtual IP is acting as a gateway uh, virtual IP should use slash 32 so this one is very important okay slash 32 so if master fail uh, a slave will uh, take over uh, virtual IP then move to the uh, slave uh, at, uh, from the failed master to the healthy master <laughs> yeah so uh, 
thing is virtual IP has to be uh, bind with the master router so that's that's the uh, principle of uh, VRRP uh, on MicroTik itself my uh, VRRP is uh, not so complicated uh, here's the configuration uh, for the previous uh, uh, topology so on router 1 so you can set up uh, interface VRRP set up the name VRRP on 1 uh, interface is either 1, VRID, VRRP ID is 10, priority is 150, okay? And then set up IP address on that uh, VRRP interface, okay? So 17.4.5.2, that one is slash 32, okay? Remember, it's always use slash 32. And then from the LAN side, uh, we can set up VRRP at uh, name, VRRP LAN, Oops. Uh, and uh, it it has VRRP ID is 20, uh, running on Ether 2. Uh, priority is 150. And then don't forget to set up uh, IP address on that uh, virtual interface. Okay, uh, I wanted to 168.1.1 slash 32. And then uh, we set up the normal IP address on the interface on Ether1 and Ether2. Same thing on uh, Router2. So we set up VRRP on 1 with uh, virtual VRRP ID 10 here. Uh, but different priority because Ether2 become the uh, slave okay? or backup, uh, backup uh, router. Uh, and then we set up VRRP here, uh, IP address on VRRP, same, okay, same, same address. And then we set up VRRP on LAN, okay, VRRD, VRRP ID 20, priority is 100, see. So this is 150, this is 100, so this become the uh, backup. And then uh, set up the normal IP address on the interface. So as simple as that. And then uh, your VRRP becomes live. Uh, next is... Um, a configuration... Alternative configuration for VRRP. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, so previously uh, we talked about the... VRRP on LAN side and then on the one side, uh, the public IP address. Uh, if we use that VRRP on public interface, yes, you can do it. <laughs> but uh, usually they are wasting IP address. Okay. <laughs> so usually VRRP is implemented on the LAN side. Okay. So it's going to be like this. What about from one? Usually they uh, for high availability uh, usually uh, we uh, subscribe to uh, we connect to two ISP so ISP1 uh, router 1 goes to ISP1 router 2 goes to ISP2 but we combine them not combine we set up um, um, what is it uh, uh, we, we combine the uh, both of them uh, so we set up the uh, same default gateway uh, on both of them okay so the default gateway in this case 192.168.1.1 that's the default gateway for the network here and then uh, we set up uh, that IP address on VRRP so if one goes down and then others will take over uh, other parameters on VRRP when you see here uh, we previously we set up so we were using uh, CLI to set up VRRP but if you're using GUI uh, you can set up uh, interface for ID priority we have done that interval is for checking and then we have preemption mode so that means uh, you are uh, you are you are you are uh, considering the uh, priority okay so router 1 priority is 150 router 2 priority is 100 so 150 is higher than uh, 100 so 
if uh, router one which has higher priority goes down traffic will go through uh, router two and then when uh, router one is back is healthy and then router one will become the uh, master again uh, if that that one applies if you are using preemption mode so preemption mode is the default so if you don't define it and then it will automatically say it's yes it's preemption and then we have authentication so um, yeah let's say other people also wants to try VRRP okay so we want to set up um, an authentication so that uh, not uh, all people can just participate on uh, VRRP okay um, if you are interested and then uh, just come to our training uh, you can click here the website on schedule uh, there will be uh, upcoming training about microtech and then other topic as well and then uh, so stay tuned if you have any uh, questions and then you can uh, uh, post it on our uh, Facebook uh, page or uh, the slide will be available on slide share here a recording will be available on YouTube uh, you don't have to remember this uh, URL because it's quite hard uh, you can just use uh, uh, search features on YouTube okay you open YouTube and then type GLC Networks and then you can find our uh, page okay so I think uh, that's all uh, thank you very much for today um, hope you enjoy the uh, webinar Okay, good evening. Oh, sorry, if you have any questions. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I got one question here from from Danny. Okay, thank you very much for coming. Uh, is VRRP is only for Microtech? Uh, no. Uh, Microtech support VRRP. Uh, and then it is assumed that VRRP works between Microtech. Uh, is it possible to have VRRP between Microtech and other vendor? Uh, never tried before. <laughs> perhaps they're working, perhaps they're not. Okay, so uh, with this uh, specific feature like this, I would prefer to use one vendor. Okay, anything else? now okay uh, well uh, it's time to leave now thank you very thank you very much again uh, hope you enjoy and then have a nice day and then uh, also some people here wants to have dinner <laughs> okay uh, have nice dinner okay thank you very much bye